Hello people, this is Code Grind, and in today's video, we'll be looking into how you can create custom QR codes, something like this one, which is dark cyan color, unlike the general QR code, which are black in color. In the previous video, we looked into how you can generate QR codes using JavaScript. Like if I have any text in here, let's say YouTube and click on the generate QR code button, we get this newly generated QR code. I won't be getting into this because I have covered it in the previous video. But in this video, we will be looking into how we can uh, customize it, give it background color, foreground color, change its opacity, change its error correction level and many other things like that. So I suggest you watch the previous video first uh, before watching this one. And if you want to learn about how to create uh, this animated input field, then go down to the description box for the link of one of my other videos uh, in where I have taught how to create uh, an animated input form. You can also click on the link above to watch that video. So let's get straight into it. In the last video, we talked about these three different properties. Uh, the first one being the element. Uh, so we, uh, this will hold the element inside which we will place our QR code. So this is the canvas tag. You should use canvas tag only otherwise you won't see any QR code because that is what we have to do uh, because that is something which is coded inside this JavaScript library. And then we have the size, which is the size in pixels of this QR code, to, which is 200 by 200 pixels. It will always be in a square shape and the value that means the code which is encoded inside this QR code. By default, it is code grind and it changes based on what the user has entered. So let us look into some other properties using which we can customize this QR code. So the first thing which we will look into is the changing the background color of this QR code. So by default, the background color is white, uh, but if you want to change it, like if I want it to be something like uh, red in color, then I will just simply call this background property like the other properties which we have called and uh, write the value which we want it. But it should be inside double quotes because it is a string. And when I hit save, you see the background color has changed to red. You can also pass inside here hex color codes like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and it will change to this bluish shade of uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now if you want to change the opacity of this background color then we have another property such as background alpha and this will be a number like we enter in CSS. If I want it to be 0 0.7 hit save and you can see the opacity has changed. So these two properties are what you can use to alter the background color of the QR code. I will simply comment that out. I will give a link in the description for the uh, source code. You can go in there and copy all these things or copy the link to this uh, curious JavaScript library. And now the another property which we will be looking into is changing the foreground color. That is the color of this QR code which is currently by default black. And if you want to change it simply call the foreground property and inside double quotes pass whatever value you want. Um, such as dark can hit save and you see this uh, color of the QR code has changed and similarly like the background you can also provide uh, the foreground with opacity just by using foreground alpha similarly the value pass will be in numbers that means integer and you see the opacity has changed so this is all about uh, the foreground now let's look into changing the padding of this QR code so padding is uh, exactly what we use in CSS. You can simply apply it by the padding property and passing any value like 20 and you see the padding has been applied. It is a very simple thing. Not much to worry about. Now the next thing which we will be looking into is the error correction level. So error correction level is actually uh, like uh, QR codes are used for different purposes but uh, in case if you want to use it in a place where there are chances it might get dirty then you will have to use a QR code of higher error correction level so that uh, whenever you uh, scan it in spite of it being dirty it will be able to scan it very correctly so the error correction should be high enough so to provide it with error correction uh, we have four different uh, levels uh, starting from L then M and then Q and then H. L being the least in the error correction value and H being the highest. So in general purpose, like if you want to use it for uh, something uh, where there are less chances of the QR code getting dirty, 
then you can go with the L or M correction level but if you if there are chances that the QR code will get dirty by dust or anything uh, that may cause dirtiness so I suggest you should use the H level of error correction so that it doesn't cause any problem while scanning and higher the level you go the size of the QR code will also increase uh, there won't be a much uh, difference in the size of these levels but definitely you will see some changes like if I have L inside double quotes we don't see any changes in the code because L is the by default value if I change it to M you see we have got a different QR code the value of this QR code will remain same to what we have passed but since the correction level has changed we see a different kind of a code Q we see a different code and H we see a different code so this is uh, these are all the properties which you can use uh, these are all the necessary properties which you need to learn about how to customize your QR code and now if you like the video then don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more such amazing tutorials on CSS and JavaScript and thank you for watching